The second step in the cycle of mobility comes immediately after the player has established their neutral position. Once the player has identified where to go, they must maneuver the chair to set up for the best impact possible. The first aspect of maneuvering the chair is pushing. In order to propel the chair forward, the player must push with one or both hands. Learning to move with a racket in one hand is not easy. A push is equivalent to a stride in running. The more efficient the push, the more ground covered. For reference, we will picture the wheel as a clock. The player should start with their hand at 12 o'clock on the top of the wheel. They keep their hand in contact with the wheel and thrust through a full stride to the 3 o'clock position. In general, short quick thrusts are used to quickly start and make fast adjustments. Long thrusts are used once the chair is moving. The next aspect of maneuvering is called braking. By grabbing hard on the wheels and leaning back, the forward momentum of the chair can be stopped or slowed sufficiently to adjust to the ball. In general, the player must always maintain momentum during a point, and this technique is typically only used when a player feels they will be too close to the ball. The next aspect of maneuvering is called turning. Turning is the most important mobility skill a player uses in tennis, as they must constantly modify their direction to respond to an opponent's shot. To maintain continuous momentum, rather than starting and stopping which breaks momentum, players should strive to make constant circular mobility. In other words, they move in circles to keep their chair in motion. There are three key ways a player can change direction in wheelchair tennis. An intern is when the chair turns towards the net. Interns can be used both on forehand and backhand sides. However, an intern is more natural on the forehand side. Interns can also be used in offensive situations since the player moves into the court after hitting. An outturn is when the player turns away from the net. Outturns are tactically used in more defensive situations. Players will find outturns are more natural on the backhand side. A pivot is used to get out of the way when a ball comes right at the player. To make the pivot, the player pulls with one wheel and pushes the other. A player can pivot to either the forehand or backhand side. In order to make these turns, a player can use two basic techniques. A push turn is for gentle curves. When the player pushes one wheel more than the other, which will turn the chair. For example, if the player wants to curve to the backhand side, they push the forehand side wheel more. If they want to curve to the forehand side, they push the backhand wheel more. The advantage of a push turn is the player's momentum is maintained. A pull turn is for hard, tight turns the player slows one wheel to turn the chair. One key variation of a pull turn is the crosshand turn. This is only used on the backhand side. The player reaches across their body with the non-racket hand to slow down the forehand side wheel. Tactically, this turn allows a player to move into the court after hitting a backhand. <laughs> 